NCIS celebrates its immense success worldwide. The Gibbs team has been cracking exciting cases since 2003. The fans have been through all the ups and downs with the characters, and it was all often quite emotional. Over the years, fans have had to say goodbye to several popular characters. In addition to emotional farewell scenes, there were also some shocking deaths on the show that rocked audiences. For example, Special Agent Ziva David. She was portrayed by Cote de Pablo. Ziva was an Israeli Mossad operative who later became an NCIS agent. In the finale of season 13, Ziva died a terrible death when her father's family house was burned down. It is now known that Ziva only faked her death. Cote de Pablo was last seen on season 17. Michael Weatherly, aka Special Agent Tony Dinozo, also left the show. For years, Tony delighted fans with his jokes and his movie quotes. After the apparent death of Ziva, he learned that the two have a daughter. Tony quit NCIS to take care of his daughter. In season 17, the pair of them and Ziva were reunited in Paris. With Special Agent Kate Todd, NCIS lost another popular character in Season 2. Kate died when she was killed by a terrorist from a shot to the head. After two seasons, Lauren Hawley, who played director Jenny Shepard, also left NCIS. Much to the sorrow of fans, director Shepard just like other characters in the series, was killed. The exit of Polly Perrette, aka Abby Suito, broke the hearts of many fans. Abby left NCIS in Season 15 to start a charity in London. The reason for this was the tragic death of another NCIS character, Clayton Reeves died trying to save Abby's life. Shortly before they said goodbye, the two got into a shootout and were seriously injured. Abby survived, but Clay did not. Abby then paid tribute to her lifesaver by founding her aid organization, which actually was always Clay's dream. Currently, NCIS fans have to cope with the loss of another popular figure. Jack Sloan can be seen one last time in Season 18, which is already running in the USA. After a kidnapping case she worked on with Gibbs, Sloan stayed in Afghanistan, saying goodbye to her NCIS team. Unfortunately, the potential relationship with her colleague also came to an end but there was still some consolation. There was a last kiss between Sloan and Gibbs in the farewell scene, a small comfort for the broken hearts in the audience. NCIS fans will have to be prepared for one or two sad farewells in the future too. This show still has us on the edge of our seats.